Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be on this um, holiday inspired look. It's a little dramatic and you guys know I like that kind of stuff. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of dramatic looks lately, but I filmed a natural look for you guys and I had so much trouble uploading it. There wasn't enough space and then there was uh, something, there was an error with the files. So I wasn't able to post it and since the holidays are around the corner I thought that I would get my first holiday look up first and then I could go on to doing the natural look. So for those of you who are natural lovers, fear not, I am headed your way with a natural look. But in the meantime, I hope you do enjoy this um, voiceover holiday look. It's very burgundy, very red, and very gold. Just inspires me so much for the holidays. It just reminds me of the holidays. Um, but please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to talk to you guys. Let me know if you guys like voiceovers, if you want to see more talk-throughs. Talk-throughs are just, they're so long. Like, I'm just not good at them. Good at them. <laughs> I'm not good at them, so they come out so long. So just let me know what you guys think and or just say hey or whatever you feel like it. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Hey, hey, hey. So uh, my base is already done and so are my eyebrows for the sake of saving time. So I'm going to show you how to turn this side into this side. Let's do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take a eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Frappe, which is a, a warm brown color, warm reddish brown. And um, I'm going to take that on that fluffy brush and I'm just going to go ahead and put that into my crease as a transition shade. Now um, I'm going to dip the side of my fluffy brush and I'm going to take it like I see on the side and I'm going to go ahead and run it um, under my lower lash line because I want, I like the look of a very diffused, a very blown out lower lash line. So what I kind of do is because the brush is bigger, it helps deposit the color in a larger area under my lower lash line. And then, bam, my hair is up in a ponytail because it was being a nuisance. Now, I'm going to continue to uh, deposit color under my lower lash line on the side of the brush. And doing it like this kind of, it, it accentuates your eye bags, but in a sense, I feel like that looks good. That's just my personal preference. You can keep it closer to the lower lash line if you want. But you should end up with something that looks kind of like this. Now I'm going to take another Makeup Geek shadow called Coco Bear, which is more on the brick red side. And I'm going to go ahead and just do the exact same thing that I did with Frappe or Frap or however you guys want to say it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and deepen up the crease with that color and also bring it to the lower lash line like I did Frappe. So after you make that as deep as you want, you should have something that looks like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a pointed fluffy brush. <laughs> there was still, I guess, eyeshadow coming off of it. And I'm going to go ahead and take um, Makeup Geek's Bitten, which is a beautiful like maroon burgundy color. 
These are my favorite colors to wear, honestly. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to pack that onto the outer third of my eyelid. And I'm going to continue to make that as deep as I like it. And then after you pack the color, you can pull it into, a, into the crease. Now I'm packing it onto the outer third, but I do not want to put it on the rest of the lid. So I'm going to pack it on the outer third. And then in the second, you'll see that I'm going to turn my brush so it's pointed towards the inner corner. <laughs> I guess I stopped for a coffee break. So it's going to be pointed towards the inner corner of my eye. See, just like that, I'm going to turn it and I'm going to pack it on the inner third of my eye as well. So we're going to leave the middle of the lid blank and we're going to do that for a reason. See this, I want this to be like a halo, a spotlight eye to where the attention is drawn to the very middle of the eye where we're going to put a beautiful golden shimmery color. But in order to do that, I want to leave the middle bare. So you can kind of see why it's called a halo. You kind of connect those two but you leave the center blank. Now I'm just going in with the fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse those edges. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna go ahead and take it inside uh, I'm going to take Bitten, that just sounded weird. I'm going to take Bitten and I'm going to stamp it on the same places that I put it on the upper lid. So I'm going to stamp it on the outer third and the inner third, third, leaving the center of the lash, lower lash line blank, just like the top. Now I'm going to take a tiny detail brush from Equal Tools, which I think is super cute, and I'm going to take it off. Uh, uh, a shade called Glamorous that is also from Makeup Geek. I guess it's just a Makeup Geek kind of day, guys, seriously. Um, but I'm going to take that color and I'm going to kind of put it on the edge of where Bitten stops. So I'm going to use this kind of as a transition because it is a golden color, but it's more of an orange gold. Um, it's going to help the eyeshadow transition from the red to the gold that we're going to put in the center. So you're going to do the same on the top and on the bottom. So now I'm going to take the Laura Geller highlighted in, Highlight in Gilded Honey and I'm going to use my finger for this, but I'm just going to put that on that blank space. So I'm just packing that on with my finger. And as you can kind of see, I'm placing it over, kind of over the glamorous color. So it kind of looks like it blends seamlessly. I'm also putting that with my finger on the lower lash line. And I'm going back in with a pointed fluffy brush that has bitten on it with no more additional bitten, just whatever was left on the brush. And I'm diffusing the edges of the gold color. Now I'm going to take Urban Decay Perversion Liner, which is my favorite black coal liner right now, and I'm going to put that on my upper lash line and my lower lash line. After that, you can curl your lashes and apply mascara. I'm just going to use the Georgiana Best Lash because honestly it doesn't really matter which mascara you use. I just like that one. It's a drugstore one, it's like three bucks in my neck of the woods and I think it's a really good mascara. So now I'm gonna go in with my, uh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a beautiful pair of false lashes. They're very long and spread out you make me feel like Bambi because they're so long and I wanted kind of dramatic lashes for this look. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those. And I'm just going to skip through that because this one was giving me a little difficulty, but oh well. 
Now I'm going to go in uh, to the lower lash line and just apply some lower mascara to my bottom lashes. I can't remember what these lashes are called. Honestly, I think I got them at MAC. Um, and I, I know they have numbers. I'll try to see if I can put that in the down bar below the screen. So all of a sudden my hair's down again. And um, I decided that my lower lashes needed a little more oomph because the top lashes were so long and just a little crazy looking. So after that, I'm going to take a highlight shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I think it's called Champagne, but because the lid, I want that to be the focal point of the look, I'm going with a more toned down highlight for the brow bone and the inner corner. I really tried to focus on the light not being messed up in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed that because it was really hard. But after you dap, you do that, this look is pretty much done. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little effect I tried to do at the end. Um, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!